WWE superstar and professional wrestler Damian Priest recently revealed that he was not allowed to take the job that he was already cast for due to his parent company, aka WWE, stepping in and not allowing him to actually do this acting gig in Black Panther Wakanda Forever. So Damian Priest, who is a WWE superstar and a pretty talented wrestler all around, revealed just recently that he auditioned and was cast to play a character in Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Now, the rumors spread like wildfire that he was supposed to play Namor. Now, there is no proof to this outside of just, hey, well, Damien Priest, hmm, okay, I guess Namor. But I think it's pretty evident if you just look at his frame and the fact that he wasn't going to play Namor, that he was going to play the character of Atuma. Like, it's literally the same build. It's not a big role. He would have been out for just a bit of time, but it wouldn't have conquered, like, a majority of his year, like Namor, for example. And if he was a Tuma, he would not have had to have been on all the press tours and everything. So again, I think it's this character. But what he revealed was, despite getting cast in the role, and while, um, you know, having everything done and ready to do it, he doesn't say what happened, but he says... He lost the job. It got taken away from him, but not by Marvel. And he says he can't say anything else, but that's it. Now, if some of you know how WWE operates and how they do things, this is one of the reasons one of their stars, the former Sasha Banks, now known as Mercedes Monet, she also left WWE a couple of years ago, and one of the things she talked about was the fact that she was in The Mandalorian, and we know she was supposed to have a bigger, more expanded role, but WWE wouldn't allow it, and they want shares of what the wrestlers get if they do outside work when they're working for WWE. So she backed out, and this to me just honestly tells me that WWE also stepped in. They realized, hey, Damian Priest is going to be gone for like a month or two. Okay, what do we do? Well, he's going to get paid, but we get nothing of it, and he's under contract. Yes, we can extend his contract with the time he missed, which is what they do. But still, they didn't want him to do that. You know, it's a company that's notorious for not letting their wrestlers on Twitch. And when they did, they want a share of their profits. So it's not surprising that he lost the role. Unfortunate, because I think he would have made a super imposing great Atuma. But that's just how the business works, especially if you're in the WWE, because it's been very well documented. Unless it's a film produced by them, they don't really want to let you go.